What it is and what it ain't, I'm let y'all know what I think, man. It's a new feature on Cash App called Cash App Borrow. How many of y'all U.S. citizens that see this feature on your Cash App, man? I know if y'all hitting this video, man, y'all want to know more about it or y'all want to do some looking into it. But I already done did my research. I'm going to give y'all an honest opinion on it because I did a review. And I'm going to tell you how I got a $125 credit limit to where I can go get real cash from Cash App Borrow and get real money sent to my cash app that I'm able to pull off at an ATM or go spend at any store, real currency, from cash app. Well, you know, how it happened to me, my story personally, I had woke up and I only had probably like 4 or $5, and I was going to the 7-Eleven, you know what I mean, to get some gauze or whatever, and some blacks. And uh, I seen this new feature on my phone, but it wasn't no feature where you can see it. It was just a light on the money sign. And, you know, I already had a whole bunch of messages up there, but I seen this was like a different type of message. You know what I mean? It was a a dot, and it was lit up on the money symbol. So I had hit the money symbol. You know what I mean? I know I ain't had no money. So I hit it. You know what I mean? So when I hit it, it was this white screen with blue buttons, and they asked me, do I want to borrow some money? So, you know, they said I had a $100 credit limit. So I went straight to YouTube and went and digging it up, and they said, yeah, man, you can borrow money from Cash Out. So I'm like, what? So I go back to Cash Out, and I push yes. So when I push yes, it's saying that I'm going to have to pay them $21 now because I asked for 20 because it said that I can get 100 So I was like, man, I'll try 20 I'll see what happened. So when I tried 20 it said the interest rate was only going to be like a dollar and 50 cent, and I got like a month to pay for it. So I was like, damn, you know what I mean? And they broke it down to installments so like $5, $6, like four times, you know what I mean? Get a whole month to pay it off. So, you know, I ended up taking the hundred dollars. You know what I mean? But when I took the hundred dollars, few days later, you know what I mean, I end up getting about sixty dollars sent to my cash app, you know what I mean, for some services I did for some other client. And uh when I got the sixty dollars, I went and put like forty towards the debt, cause it got a part where they ask you do you want to pay early? Repay, yeah, repay early, like re, uh, pay them back early. So you'd be like, yeah. So you put that you want to uh, pay them back. So when I push the button, I want to uh, pay them back early. Then it let me uh, see all the all the all the uh, money I took out, all the debts I had, like five dollars, six dollars debts. So you go to each individual debt. And the dates on there, which you got to pay them off by. And I just start paying them off. $5 here, $10 here, all that does. But I spent like $40. So, you know what I mean? As soon as I spent like $40, and then I went to sleep, you know what I mean? Because they didn't bother the other 20 I mean, I forgot to tell y'all that. When I got the $60 in, it came straight to my cash shop. It didn't go straight to borrow to the money. They let me uh pay them on my own you know what i mean so you know all the debt don't hit you at once so if you take a hundred you don't have to pay a whole hundred back you just pay it in installments of five or twenty or fifteen whatever the case is have you took the money i just used to take it by twenties to keep it down for fives and stuff like that i guess you know that's what kept it down so you know what i mean some of them I paid all the way off. Like, okay, with $40, I made a scratch. Like, I had a payment for, like, $20. I paid that whole payment off. Then I used $5 to pay one off, used $10 to pay one off, and used another $5 to pay another one off. So, you know what I mean? When I went to sleep and woke up, now I was able to borrow 125 out the blue. So I was like, okay, you know what I mean? Now they give me more credit limit. So, you know what I mean? I hurry up and, you know, I was paying it. I, I paid that first hundred off. And that's how I got that hundred dollar, uh, hundred twenty five dollar 
Uh, next time it went up to 125, but let me tell you this too. Well, every time you pay the money back, it automatically will shoot it back to you. So if you get some money on your cash out, but you're not ready to pay them, you can pay them off and then you can actually go back and reborrow it the same day, the same time. You know, it's instantly, you know what I mean? You get the money instantly. So, you know what I mean? This stuff good to use at an ATM, this money. Uh, store, whatever, man, you know what I mean, it's real money, so, uh, you know what I mean, I end up, got $125 on there, and this morning I had to pay $5, so I had got $30 in, because you know what I mean, somebody sent me like uh, $35 or something, so I end up going to pay the whole thing, so what ended up happening is, you know, now I got $36 worth of credit that I can pull off. And, you know what I mean, I had owed them 125 and they had sent me a congratulations because I paid uh, so many debts on time. You got to either pay them early or on time. You know what I mean? One was due today, and I paid it before time because it was due at 10.30 this morning, and I woke up early, and I paid it. You know what I mean? And I had them paid it to where they are seeing you more money, more calculations. So once the debt uh, paid, you can just get more money. But if you pay it all up early, you know, like on the on, on a few days, I'm just going to pay it all up because all my payments is like 5 and $6 dollars on the 19th. Okay, so I would have been to pay some of them off or pay them all off with $20, $30, pay them off. And then around 21st, 22nd, when YouTube send their checks, I'm going to pay the rest of the balance off. And then I'm going to see what it looks like. Does they put 150 on there? Or do they put 200 on there? 175? I'm going to see how much it go up. But this is my personal... Uh, I get personal loans basically from them up to one twenty five per month. You know what I mean? And you just keep paying the back so you don't got to go ask people for money. So that's a new uh, feature that uh, Cash App got. So make sure y'all go check it out. But I'm going to tell y'all a few things now because I get a YouTube chat. They know, they say you got to have credit. But I don't even got credit, but I get YouTube checks. So... I got this bank called Blue Vine Bank, and it's linked to my cash out because this is an online bank, you know what I mean? So this bank is a bank for businesses, you know what I mean? Because I got an LLC under another cooperation. So all this stuff is under my LLC, you know what I mean? Because it's, you know what I mean? My LLC allows me to get big money from YouTube and move it around. If I want to take it out, when I go to Amscot, you know what I mean? YouTube drop the check, direct deposit, and I go straight to Amscot. Bam, when I get my check, I pay my child support, I do all that there, with right there. You know what I mean? So the people at Cash App seeing that I'm putting like my remaining balance, I keep taking money from my, my bank, since it's linked to my cash app and putting it over there. So they seeing all this money flow, all this money flow. So they like, oh, this dude got credit. He got money. He always used cash app. And I used to, uh, you know, run my businesses, my LLC, and I was making, you know, upwards to almost six figures and stuff a year previously, previously, you know what I mean? So they probably looking at all that there. And they probably saying, okay, he can cover this little money right here. Because the feature came on my phone. I didn't ask for the feature or nothing. It just popped up, you know what I mean? And it was a blessing, you know what I mean, from God. Because I don't like asking nobody for help when I need to borrow something, need little gas money, whatever. I can go straight to Cash Out Borrow, man, and get it right there, right then. Just as long as you pay it back. It's your money. You borrowing it from yourself, but you know what I mean? Me, I got money coming in, you know what I mean? The set date every month through YouTube, you know what I mean? And no matter how much it is, that LLC 
bank gonna let me get it, then I'm gonna put it on my cash app. So cash app when I go to the mall or something or go to Orlando or whatever, I'm putting the money on cash app. You know what I mean? Then I go to the ATM or do whatever. Even though my bank card, the Blue Vine bank card, is that big boy unlimited where I can move up the light, have like a, a half a ticket and a quarter ticket. I can move all that kind of money because LLC is a different type of bank. Like uh, when you bank card, when you go to uh, Am Scott with your regular card, uh, cash app, it only let you pull. Uh, 600 you know what i mean and then they gonna stop but with my card my bank card it let me pull as many times as i want to you know what i mean and then cash out it runs out after two stikes you know what i mean then you got to use the bank card you know what i mean but yeah we're gonna stick to the future about uh cash out bar man y'all need to look into that man peace of mind